Hello. Today I am going to self-host, the Mempool Open Source Project. A beautiful Bitcoin blockchain and Mempool Visualizer, that will allow me to explore specific blocks transactions and addresses, in a private way. To complete this guide, you need a synced Bitcoin full node, and a running Electrum server. If you need help with any of this, please watch my Bitcoin and Lightning server video, and my Electrum server series. Let's go! I have a new Ubuntu server, running in my local network. I will SSH into it. I have Bitcoin Core running, as well as an Electrum server. For security reasons, the users Bitcoin and Electrum S, run Bitcoin Core and Electrum server, respectively, without pseudo powers. Only Ubuntu has root privileges. Also, Electrum S and Ubuntu are members of the Bitcoin group, because they need to have access to Bitcoin's RPC. I will stick to these best security practices, and create a user called, Mempool, that will run the Mempool server without root privileges. And yes, it will also need to be a member of Bitcoin's group, since the Mempool server's backend, needs to have access to Bitcoin's RPC. Done. Now let's go to Mempool's GitHub. I will build Mempool from source. First I will take care of the server's back end, and then the front end. I will follow the steps on the readme files. You can keep them handy, and check what we're doing against them. It won't be exactly the same, but pretty similar. As always, I will write the commands and config files, in a text file link below. The mempool server requires a database. So the first thing I'll do, is to create one manually. To do this, I will install, MariaDB, which is a fork of MySQL. Let me open another terminal window and rearrange my workspace. Before creating the database, run the following script for hardening your MariaDB installation. If you want to know what's going on, please read its output. It's self-explanatory. Provide a strong password for the database root user. I will write it into a file. and paste it in the upper terminal window. Select all the defaults, and you're done. Now we can create our database. Type, MariaDB. First command. Where mempool, is the name that I've chosen for my database. Second command, watch the syntax. This is my database, mempool. This is the database user, which I've called, mempool user. This user needs a password. Write it down in a text file. Control D to exit. And the database is ready. Now I'll clone the mempool repository into my computer, and verify its digital signature. Code. Copy. The latest official release, is version 2.4.0. Remember that. That's the one I will be building. Log in as the mempool user, and get clone the repo. Check out to the latest release and try verifying its digital signature. 
we're missing the signing PGP key. Let's look for it in GitHub. The project's maintainer is Wiz. Let's click on his profile. There's his key. That's the one. Copy the link, and the following command will fetch it and import it into your keyring. Verifying again. Good signature. To build the mempool server from source, I need to have Node.js installed. Go to, nodejs.org, and follow the links. Downloads. Install via Package Manager. Debian Distribution. Binary Distributions. Installation Instructions. Copy. And paste from your Ubuntu user. Everything is OK. Now we can start building the mempool server. Log in as the mempool user, go to the backend directory, and type, npm, install. And then, npm, run, build. The last step, is to write a configuration file for the server's backend. There's a sample file that you can tweak to your needs. I will use a template of my own. You need to specify three things. The Electrum server implementation that you are running. Bitcoin's RPC credentials. And the database information. If you are using Electrum S, just type, Electrum. When I set up my Bitcoin RPC's authentication, I wrote my user and password into a file. And now enter the user and password, for the mempool database that we created a few minutes ago. Save. Exit. And make sure that this configuration file is only accessible by the user, mempool. We're done with the back end. To test it, type npm run start. It works. Stop it for now, pressing Ctrl C. And let's move on to build the mempool server's front end. Type npm install. And then npm run build. The previous command, should have generated, this directory. You need to put its contents, into a web server. Ok. Before I do this, let me remind you that I already have the web server, Nginx, configured as a reverse proxy that enables remote access to my Electrum server over an SSL encrypted connection. So I am just going to tweak the existing Nginx configuration. Please watch my Electrum server series, if you want to know how my web server is set up. So, move the contents of the output directory into the Nginx web root directory. Also, change its ownership to the Nginx user, www.data. On the Nginx data directory, go to, Sites Available. We need to write a configuration file for creating a web server for the mempool website. I'll copy paste my own template file.
Let's go to the end of the file, and review the server section. The web server will be listening on port 4081. I am using a self-signed SSL certificate that I created when I set up Nginx. And I need to copy this additional configuration file into the snippets directory. This file is available at the mempool root directory. Now create a symbolic link in the site's enabled directory, that points to the configuration file that you just wrote. Everything is OK. The last step, is to create a main Nginx configuration file. In my case, I will just edit the one I already have which is written to make Nginx work exclusively as a reverse proxy. I will add this HTTP section to it. Save and exit. You can check your Nginx configuration, with the flag, T. If you get no errors, restart Nginx. Everything is working. Now, I will write a service file for the mempool backend. So it starts on boot, and restarts automatically if it crashes. Remember that you have all these files linked in the description below. Enable, and restart the service. Finished. The mempool server is running as a service. One last thing. The mempool web server in Nginx, is listening on a specific port. I need to add a firewall rule that allows incoming connections on port 4081. I will allow access, only from within my local network. This is the IP address of my server. Open a web browser from a computer connected to your local network and type HTTPS, followed by your server's IP colon, port 4081. The warning is due to the fact that the SSL certificate that I'm using, is self-signed. Congratulations! You're running your own mempool. At this moment you don't have any historical data. Just give it some time and eventually all the graphs and statistics will look normal. Notice that the indexing is not even done yet. The easiest and more secure way to access your mempool from outside your local network, is by setting up a Tor hidden service. Edit the Tor configuration file, and add the following two lines. Reload the Tor service. Your onion address is in the hostname file, at the path you specified. Now you can access your mempool from anywhere in the world, by pasting this address in the Tor browser, desktop, or mobile. To update your mempool server, go to your mempool folder. Download the latest changes. Check out to the desired version. Build the backend. 
Tweak the configuration file. Build the front end. Replace the mempool web directory in Nginx's web root directory. And restart the Nginx service. Bye bye.